Let's see. Oh, yes, it goes. Right, so. Let's. Start a new command. Here we go, good old Ronnie Reagan. And here we go into war. This is the lead into it all. Oh, hang on a minute, let's uh, put my um, chatty thing up. Um, where's that gone? So I can see if anybody comes to comes to chat. Um, it's on my screen somewhere. Do that and I'll do this. I'm to knock on to stream labs. moths, which is probably a good idea if I turn my lamp on. Right, that will zap the little buggers that come in. Right, um, where was I? I was doing... Oh yeah, on here. Yeah, that's good. And... Yeah, well, hello, pling. My son speaking to me on Twitch. Um, right, oh, it was the chatty thing, uh, which is what I wanted. Now it's there. It is probably going to be a new version download. Nope, it's going in. Probably wants me to log in. No, nope, that's good. do that away from um, the main screen because it can because can do that right so I give him a little message and then bring my thing back up and look at my dashboard. Notifications. Oh yeah, I've got to do that and do my broadcast. Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> right, should be um should be good. Looks like oh, we're just building into the wind up here. And war declared. Here we go. Right, so now we're going to get our. Oh, little bits and pieces. We've got a wolf pack. Salary is returning very soon to operating in North America. Transit through the Guick area towards their home base where they prepare for a new operation. So you must text it before they have a chance to rearm. That's where the Guick area is, but that's anything. Yeah, you're right, Henry. Multiplayer will be interesting. Indeed. Right. Right, so let's have a look at what we got on board here. So we got two mosses. We don't need so many anti tank uh, uh, a couple of harpoons and a couple of oh no not they're not land attacks, anti ships. Or oh, mosses. I quite like those. I've got 16 torps, four mosses. They actually, I've been got, got used to using those now. So that's good. Let's. Now, you see, this is what I don't know where the Gyork area is. So. Whoa! We've run into something. Close to. We don't know what it is, so. Go to one third manoeuvring. We conditions under the keel: 334 feet, not a lot. So let's slow down. Let's slow right down. Bring my tactical map up. Let's, let's just get ourselves up to the surface. Planes up. Must do the um, the chat mod, which is available on here, so that I get the um, the announcements. Which we're passing 200 feet, coming up to the surface, 640 feet, level out. No sonar contacts at present. 110 feet. Go to 50 feet periscope depth. Okay, passing 100 feet. Look okay, at sea is fairly rough. Looking at that, it's a very noisy environment, so the sea is quite rough. I'm not going to hear a great deal in terms of um, stuff. So we will come to periscope depth. We'll see what we see. Change over to anti ship missile. Periscope depth. Anti ship missile. Up scope. Uh, up ESM. Nothing we heard. Up scope. Look, go to night vision. Sea state is quite rough, isn't it? So, actually, what? Let's just go up a tiny bit further. So, 
Nothing showing on ESM, so... Looks like the detected threat is a sub. Down scope, down ESM mast. So let's go back down again. Hundred feet, hundred and fifty feet, which would be midway between top and bottom, I think. And now we just got to look. So let's turn to full right rudder. Let's start, start a slow turn. Oops. Stop at 160 feet thereabouts. Yeah, roughly midway between surface and floor. So, very surprised to have been. No, we're right, okay. I don't know why it stopped me. There were three subs. Ah. They were the subs, they were that close. So, pattern with replenishment tankers include self mark angel and momentary reverberance the order to find and sink, right? Okay. Continue on course, right. So. Oops, what have we got? All hand to battle stations. Third, where are we? We're 600 feet. Let's slow down and see what signatures we get. Looking at the conditions, we've got nothing, we've got no no bottom. Well, outside of our maximum depth anyway, let's put it that way. And there we got our first ping. What sort of range? It's coming from my left ear. So that would suggest itself this angle. So we go left full rudder. Waiting to see the ping line where it draws in. Reload decoy. Put a moss in the tube. There we go. We'll see what comes of that. Okay, it's behind us, it's in the baffles.
so it's a sort of bearing of 45 degrees get another ping in a minute Sierra. Sierra 1, or else that's indica in indicative of a surface ship. So set that to high. Sat scan for the surface ships. And now we sonar match. Our oh, sound patterns. No, not that. Not that. Very likely that. A cresta. I'm going to designate that a crest up for now. Sierra two, where was the where was that mapped on? Out there, right, okay. So we got three hundred and eighty four yards. Okay. Yes, S for sonar acquire, that's right. We've we've got the Got our sonar arm up. Right, ship born attack. Reload Tomahawk. Actually, no, well, we're going to have them in the tubes, so uh, let's uh, get that. Yes, definitely that's a Cresta. We, we're waiting for a response on the... Uh, right, so we can get on with this. We can move up to uh, full all ahead standard, all ahead full. And we'll, we'll close range. All right, yeah, Tommies are quite good. Um, I don't... Because I'm intercepting ships that will be unarmed, in theory. One thing I can't do is review, review my um, review my orders again. It would be really nice. Okay, so 38. That is a maximum range for uh, taking out the um, for for deploying a torpedo. So I'm not going to deploy a torpedo. Oh yeah. Now Mark 48 can sit there. So let's go back to... We're still running at 600 feet. Running towards the target. We had a fairly good uh, range of 30... 38 nautical miles. Oh, sorry, 38 thousand yards. They were good to run. I'm going to come right to 090 in anticipation of heading them off. Nine zero, of course, zero nine zero. Well, yes, okay, but uh, I understand that, but there's 2,000 uh, 2, yards in a nautical mile. So um, it's just as easy to... And everything's done in yards um, on, 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 uh, in this, in, in attack data and so on. So that's the way of it. Slow to standard. So... Um, Head standard. Head two thirds. Let's just clear some of the noise and see if we can reacquire the target. So 
even better, it would be nice to pick up um, Sierra 2 again. So one's from there, so the, the crest is about there. We're only getting a ping from the crester. Right, okay. Still at distance, so let's all the head flank. 600 feet, we aren't going to cavitate. Let's get, let's close the distance. Let's do a little time compression and get ourselves there. Bring ourselves onto the map. Let's move that out. Bring, bring this on. Yeah, initially I could have attacked the. Um, down to one third. I could have attacked the um, with the tomahawk on on the um, on the data I had. Um, that would have been easily quite good. There's a third target now, or second target has appeared, suggesting the. Oh, the crest is slow. Right. Okay. So the crest has been picked up at that range, that's sonar, that's not, the, yeah. So the Cresta is, we've still not got Sierra 2, but that's what that beam is, Sierra 2. So, we've got the Cresta back, 6,000 yards, let's turn to the left. Passive sonar search. Back on my sub. Turn to port. Do. Range direct direction 2000 yards. Launch tube one. Hopefully staying on the wire. Just turn this, turn the boat to the Cresters on bearing four two. Oh no, I need to turn 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 my uh, turn my sub to uh, to so I don't break the wire. Four two six two. I want it to be. Whoops! Up we go. Okay, we are now going active. Seventy will do. contact. Now there is another contact out there, Sierra 3. Let's classify Sierra 3. We're into the subs at this point. Lost him. <laughs> right. So we have got I'm going to launch that on that level. Stay level at the moment and down deep. I don't want it going active just yet. Scratch one, Cresta. We have lost Sierra three. Sierra two. It's still. Uh, we have reload tube one. Mark 48. Sierra 2, there it is. Uh, reload that with Mark 48. Sierra 2, let's designate Sierra 2. OK, 
getting getting that nearly. Okay, calling that as a oh, calling that as a November. Right. Okay. So Sierra three putting the wire, putting that up onto the surface to detect higher up. Bringing that down a little, off the surface, oops, yeah, that'll do, Actually, let's swim it at uh, 200 feet, there we go, roughly speaking, there we are, on the bearing for Sierra 3. Back to the boat. Got our November here. Where is he? He's in that level. Let's turn the munition around and point it at that. That sonar. Quiet it. Excellent. Okay, so now we're looking at it from the point of the target, as well as acquired, here comes the torpedo at us. A noisemaker has been fired, yes, that's a good strike on the November. We approached him from within his baffles, which was excellent. So we're now getting a, another ping. Let's look at the tactical map. Okay, I'm going to increase to all ahead standard. Come to zero nine zero. And round we come. That's roughly the direction of the ping. Reload the tour tube, actually 080 will do. And let's get the... Hold up. compress a little bit. Right, so let's see what we got now. Distance to the last time the contact was heard, 14... Uh, 14,000 yards. All ahead one third. Get ready for the launch. Yeah, see that's a good sink. So we've got sub down, ship down. Very good. This wasn't the target though. This is just bonus tonnage. Given that the pings haven't come very far, I would suggest this is another. Probably it's either Sierra or. Thank you. 
called Foxtrot when we pick it up. So nothing hurt, girl head standard. Or helpful. Let's close some more range. Head flank. Time compressed till we're up to here. Go to one third and have a listen. Let's just time compress the delay, the speed, the speed decay. Come up to 400 feet. Planes up. That's planes up to 400 feet. So far we've managed to do this remaining undetected, which is very nice. It's close to that crest, mind you. We're passing 500. And on and up. Level the boat at four hundred. Once we get to there, just drift back down to level the bubble. Right, so we're still not hearing anything. All head standard. Not oh, flank. Don't want to cavitate. Damn. Pushed it too much. Come down. Let's do third. What's the ambient noise? No, it's 94, so it's not too quiet, and it's not too noisy. Right, let's come down to... Instead, 10 knots, let's just drop back down a bit. Let's use ballast to, to drop down. Go down to 450 feet, see if we can get some more speed out of this thing. Head standard, yep, that's good. So we, we can do 20 knots now. We can come back up to 450 feet. One 
feet well we'll keep it there right as we're possibly hunt being uh, doing submarine hunting we'll load a moss Time compressed to get us a long range bar. Sunk November on the beam. Slow down to one third. Time compressed the speed decay. Swing the boat around and check there's nothing in the baffles. And we'll come to periscope depth, I think. Up planes, 30 degrees. So let's steady the helm. Let's change the course by degrees. Let's see what we get passing 400 and on we go. Still climbing. in 300 feet. Well, we're getting there slowly. This game is about <laughs> patience. Oops, popped up above the surface. Right, start to level the planes, level the planes fully. Oops, hope I don't broach. Level the bubble. Yep, so far so good. Skipjack campaign at some point, maybe. Yeah. Let's uh, let's come up. I want to get some of the mods uh, come, uh, in fifth periscope depth. Periscope depth. ESM mass, raise the mass, ESM. Up scope. There's... Whoa, look at that, we've just picked up a target. Let's quick look to the tactical, designate that. Uh, and that's on bearing 7.3. Ah, it's sat still in the water. Is it three periscope view? Ah, oh, there it is. That's it. Range finder, right. Down. Down scope and the range. Oops. ESM mast up, let's just get that back online. Right, 
Father Torp. Sink. Turn towards the target. Get to ninety degrees before I fire. That's why I can't see him because he's gone stop. He's going to be listening for me. Is launch right. So continue going down, plane down. And activate that as a surface run. And active sonar as his being. running got him I've lost him but the torpedo hasn't torpedoes running true sonar's got a completely different plot to the torpedo interesting still on the way up there it is. Okay. So now he's moving at uh, 20 knots. He was static when we uh, when we visual checked him. Right. He is. There we go. That's the torpedo. Right. Noise maker in the water. So there we go. There we are. He's turning and we are homing into him. He's turning again. He's trying every trick in the book. But no avail. Right. Two ships, one uh, escort uh, submarine. I think that was my mission. But we will now plane up and go to two thirds manoeuvring there uh, two thirds speed two thirds ahead now plane up and just check with a with an ESM check good so he's going down Reload chip one. Let's remember to do that. Passing four hundred. Passing three hundred. Slow, slow rate of descent. Go slow to one third. Just 
Nibble the bubble. Plants here. Yep. A bit of ballast up to, to get us to the level. Seven. Leveled with. Oh, are we are we sticking out. Not quite. Only just, but let's stick the ASM mast up. There it is. Beep. There's still signals in the area. Interesting. So we will just leave that up for a minute to see where we are. Surprised we didn't actually have any helicopters. So. Oh bollocks! Right, going down, going deep. Drop the mast. Helicopters not within range. But we sunk his ship, so he is. Um, So, we sunk his ship, which is always very nice. So, deep, deep, deep. Down we go. Because that helicopter will have like two thirds. Helicopter will have two to three torpedoes on board. All head standard. Start to plane out. All head full, all head flank. Go for it. Let's get out of here. What we'll do is we'll pass over the ship that we sunk, or we'll pass by it. Nice and deep. We've got no surface ducts to help us with our with our sonar. We've got no idea. Right, so level the bubble. Because there's a tiny bit of room. <laughs> hey Doug, how are you? New game, Doug. New game called Cold Waters, submarine tactical game. Right, so that helicopter's still dipping. Uh, let's come up. You have it. Yeah, it's. Um, well, this is this is really good. So once round like that, and there's no helicopter sound, so that's very good. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is quite expensive. I've got to say, especially as it's an alpha, but it's very, very good, very good indeed. So let's uh, let's put some speed on. Let's check that helicopter where he's going to be.
Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I, um, I think it's actually for it's thirty pounds well spent. Um, because this is game is quite moddable too. Right, so he's going to have a little dip. Swing round me. He's not anywhere near me. Time compressor. Trouble is, I don't know where he's dipping. It would be very. Mind you, then his sonar is. Pro I don't know if he's using active sonar. Yeah. The only way I can tell is to swing round. And. Uh, Listen. Yeah. What she yes, uh, sub. I'm using um, a no Los Angeles class. Yeah, that helicopter hasn't got Scooby where I am. Because I was never detected. And as I was never detected, because no weapons were launched at me. Um, interesting that, that that last ship was um, which was the cash in he sat still in the water for a bit so I was actually able to to grab him well so there's no weapons right so now we can leave combat to a Cresta cannon November 2. Right, okay. What does it say? Excellent, but this was not your mission objective. Continue. Let's just recheck the orders, which was to do tankers and tankers and tenders. That's why it. Uh, and they're um, from Archangel and Baron C. Okay, continue on course. Oh Christ, I've got another set of ships to uh, man, to man battle station. I should be at 600 feet. Let's slow down. Make, we've got helicopters overhead. Already. Go to silent. Conditions. Sub, go deep. Plane down. Can I see these? Yeah, I can. Oh, there's the um, there's the sonar. That's the helicopter there. So we're going to get ourselves down. Signature zero one. Probably a surface ship. Yeah. No. Taking feet seven fifty. Got it. A rig for silent passing 800 level. Slowly level the bubble. Sierra 2 is another one. Right, okay, fine. So we've got two surface ships. Right, okay. So, Sierra 2 hasn't got a decent one. Sierra 1 has got a okay take care Doug bye for now 
Yeah, I'm hunting tonnage. Right, so I'm going to turn now to turn to starboard, a full right rudder. And come on to bearing. Torpedoes are ready. Hunt the surface, hunt the surface, hunt the surface. I've got a moss loaded. Right, I need to get torpedoes off and away. So that one torpedo. Up and away and <clears throat> on to bearing torpedo. Try and hold it on the wire as long as possible. And then steer them. Once they go active and climb to the surface. Torpedo 2 is now going. Active. I'll steer that up towards the steer that towards sonar. Steer that towards sonar. I'm tracking good track on the Torpedo one turn right. Yes, we're holding the wires, which is good. Got them far enough away so that this, the wires are still connected. All right, so. I was watching Torpedo 1, so that's the helicopter there, so that's about here. Which is good. Now he will be hearing the... Um, so let's, let's change Torpedo. Got him. Right, so that's... So we can see that that should go boom any second. And then our next target is here. Here we go. Right. That should isolate these to that helicopter too. And all we've got to do is to wait for the helicopter to Right, so turn uh, turn uh, turn ninety degrees, scratch one cara. Scratch two cars. Right, so the helicopter is now flying at twenty degrees, so he's flown up there. He probably doesn't have a Scooby do where I am. Where is the little shite? Given where we are, he won't be too impressed. 
quick glance round. No, that's fine. Right. So all we need to do is to run away from that helicopter. We're still silent. Let's time compress. That'll do. Good attack. Releasing ship from ultra quiet, two thirds, standard head full flank. Okay, no vessels or aircraft, leave combat. Two caras, but that wasn't my mission. Continue my mission. But I got a medal! Ooh! That's good, continue. Right, so I need to go up to here. Here we are, there they are. Hopefully we've got them. Handsman battle stations or battle stations slow down. Slow down. What's the conditions here? Four hundred feet. Okay. So let's wait for sonar to uh, give us something. Tactical map, nothing is yet. Reload one, reload three. Let's see what we've got. What's how's our stores doing at the moment? We still got we've got four inch ship missiles, we've got eight eleven torpedoes, and we have four uh, four uh, moss. Right, so given that these are ships that we're hunting, let's go to tor uh, let's go to uh, periscope depth. Plane up. Kill the ballast. Level the ship. Well, level my rise because I've got to keep that under control. Planes, plane zero. Let it just do its thing. Oh, we got our first ping. Big ship for ultra quiet. Miss that, miss the line. Come up on ballast. Level the bubble. Anything on this is looking a bit okay, and they're off to off to the side. Designate Sierra two. Get 
up to periscope depth and let's have a little look. Continue right full left rudder. Passing 100 feet. 90, 80, 70, 98, 70 feet. Slow the rate of descent down. Six, five, 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 three, five, two, five, one, five, zero feet, four, nine feet, ESM, raise up scope, bearing two, eight, two. Target is Grisha. Target. Glasses are done. M one. That's another 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 thing. Right. Down scope, down ESM, submerged to 300 feet. Oh, can, oops. Steady the turn. Full right rudder. No tomahawk. Four tomahawks up. I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a yeah right fine so the first the tomahawks is up I can come round to two seven zero. I'm going to change that reload to torpedo. Steady two seven zero. Gracious steady eighteen point nine. That I'm going to send out torps for for the first first part. I'm going to return to periscope depth. Wait for my missiles to 
to come up. Okay, Torp is ready. Search on the surface passive radar. Launching. Launch tube three. Ooh, down, 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 bro. Come down, go down, go down. Sink, damn you. Phew, I got away with that. Just forgot about that. <laughs> that could have been a bit uh, embarrassing. <laughs> but very fortunately, their radar wasn't active and they didn't spot it. Right, okay. ESM will do. Reacquire my targets. That was damn close. Grisha has turned. There we go. Okay, fine. So that Grisha. Oh, there it is. He's on patrol and he's at 18,000 18, yards. See, they're, they're the things that you don't want to know because this just files a barrage of depth charges at you. Just program the depth they want and they just fire those damn things. And they fire them out to a range of 6,000 yards. And they're bombs. Depth charges, in other words. And they're bloody accurate. Believe me. What I need is... A solution on that and a solution on that. Right, okay, so the torp has now gone active. But these aren't my targets, so I don't really want to um, to use oh, I'm gonna change that back to a Mark 48. Time to run some minutes. Okay, so he's half the distance. As long as that stays, he's speeded up. Let's go periscope, uh, upscope. Periscope view. That's the Don, but I can't range find him at the moment. I 
got two tomahawks in the in the tubes. Actually, that's. Can I see the Grisha? Here. 95 to not. and the Don is at to wait till that strikes and then missile one away missile two away go down 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 lower ESM lower. it's going down Oops, no, going down, going down. Scratch one, Grisha. trouble. Stealth out the way. Oh, right, we got the Don. We got one Grisha. Level slow down to 20 knots. Uh, that on the target that's coming at me like mad want to stay on the wire if I can right reload 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 moss finish to this guy. Come on, load up. He hasn't got me yet by any stretch of the imagination. Right, so fire another one 
run on the surface. Hold my nerve. He is closing to get within 6,000 yards. 6,000 yards is my critical time period. Okay, we've loaded the moss. Load a tomahawk up just in stay, just in case, because that should be enough. But wait to see. Torpedo th three is not yet active. Tor so yeah, that's just about to go up to the surface and go active. Here it goes. There go. I'm expecting the first launch to be uh, to not go active in time because the Gresha's going like stink towards us. Because I lost the wire, I couldn't draw his um, uh, let's get ready to launch the tomahawk. Oh below two hundred feet, raise to two rise to two hundred feet. Steer uh, let's do the torpedo. Got him. Okay. Sierra 4. I think I probably like to think that's a submarine. Okay. I think that's November. We're going to call it a November. So I'm not sure what number one's got. Torpedo on the wire definitely has something. I don't know what it's got. Okay, let's steer towards the Gresha's gone. So the three surface ships are gone, and this come down to two seven zero. Um, right, here we go. Two seven zero. Send to your helm. Well, just come round. That'll do. Two seven two. Right, we've got to get a better solution on that. November. 10,000 yards, reload a torpedo. I don't think we're going to need the tomahawk actually. Okay, I'm going to launch a preemptive torpedo because it doesn't appear to be. Mm. 
No, I'm not going to launch that side. I'll launch it. We haven't got a very good solution yet. 9.6 yard. 9,600 yards. Okay. Weapon goes active at 2,600 yards. On the bar. So let's keep that go. Weapon is away. Course 264. Shipped to ultra quiet. Want this to run at the same level, but then given there's only 300, 400 feet, this is more than enough to. Um, If I can detect it, the torpedo will as it gets into range of that. Yeah, I'm sure we've got a November there. Thirty six percent solution, not very much. Hope my sonar buys are good on this. It's got it. Right, dingo. Okay, he still hasn't got me looking at the uh, contact data. He really hasn't got me at all. It's cavitating, so you know, much improved. I was right, it's in November. He's going like Mary Poo at the moment can't see any cavitation in the water but we're bound to see a it'd be interesting to see when we get a uh, when we get the noise maker which will inevitably come there it is so we're going to swing oh we've ignored it We've totally ignored it. We drove drive through, drive by on the noise maker. Got him. Yes. Good attack. <coughs> Good attack. Four sh four vessels down. No aircraft leave combat zone. Kush kush don November. Continue, and the result is. Yes, that was our mission complete. Very good. Spetnat, so, so we're going to Vinci of Narvik next week. Intercept them for the land. Right, submarine, submarine mission. Continue on course, right. Narvik, that's them there. So, bonk, right, we close them at high speed. They are, we're at 600 feet, we're heading 239, 26 knots. Our target is bearing 134, designated Sierra 1, or Hansman Battle Stations. And slow to one third. That was one three four. So let's turn towards that. That's sort of this level. We're at six hundred feet. This is good good depth. Conditions are we've got a duct at one seventy seven, no floor.
This we know will be a sub. We've got a good solution on it. It's making a lot of noise. And there we go. This is a whiskey. Right, that's into your helm. Steady course one four five. Let's look at the tactical map. Currently at eleven thousand yards. It's where it's above us. But it's not hot. Ten point nine. Okay, there's a second target. Sierra two. Got it. The Victor, right? Oh, whiskey one is. Sierra 2 is apparently 54. No, it ain't that. Okay. We're getting a good solution on it. Uh, right, torpedo tube. Arm at 2,000 yards away. Load tube 1. Reload. Tube four. Come right to one five five. So we don't well, well so we don't lose the wire. Center the helm. Turn that onto the, the whiskey. Got him. Right. Okay. Right. Torpedo locked on. Should be good. Victor, target. Is it one five two degrees? We are sailing one five two degrees, one five three degrees. Really want tube four up any second now. He's quite a way away and I need to launch now. So tube four away. Running them level, uh, the Sierra 2, and there he is, he's running deep on us, but that's fine. He's pinging. Okay, Torpedo 1 is doing a noisemaker evasion. hasn't got much chance. You can look down because obviously the, he is going deep and he's coming round towards us which is excellent news. Right, we've uh, scratched one whiskey. Now, 
No, turn, turn my torpedo away from that. What I'm trying to do, I've got to keep the torpedo four, reload three. Back onto four, I've got to get it past the wreck so that it it's still acquiring the, the, the descending wreck. Okay, the Victor One solution is coming up, okay. 56% solution, everything good apart from its course so far. 2.4 seems to be approaching me quite rapidly. Let's put a search level, okay, so we're now far enough far enough apart we can now turn our torpedo on to onto the onto the sonar bearing fly it into the victor okay good designation now we've got a good solution doing 26 knots towards us it's trying to close for, a, for to get a get a solution on us as it stands at the moment he doesn't have any idea where with the hell we are we can bring our torpedo up let's look at the torpedo our torpedo is climbing And it's got it. Down it goes. It's got the victor. Stern chase, this is good. Solution has firmed up 72%. That's good news. Let's see how far are we. Let's turn active on. There it is. Bingo. Noise maker is fired. Okay, he's now going to evade to show us its tail. And he's going straight ahead, so expect another noise maker. Starting to climb. That's not going to help him because we're going to hit him on the nose. And no, he's climbed above us. It was a good, good try, wasn't it? Reacquired. Got him. Okay, good try. He's he's evading hard. Got four minutes of this game to go. Oh, he's going to the surface. He's broaching. He's bre yes, he's breached. He's breached, alright. 
he's up and trying to. I don't know what he's going to do now, but we're in. On the surface, he's probably dropped yet another noisemaker. Got nowhere to run. Absolutely nowhere to run. No matter what he does. Good night, Vienna. And kaboom. There we go. Scratch the subs. That's two subs. And oh, look, a nice oil slick formed. Very classic. Bye bye. Nice hole in the side. Right. So we can now release the ship from ultra quiet. Reload. Tube 4. Though all so good so far. That's um excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, so the after weapon brought nobody about. Leave combat. Victor and whiskey, that should be excellent. So bye bye commandos. There we go, red sun sunk. And that's about it. So that's the first two of these missions. So I'm going to save this uh, game. Continue. Um, review orders. What have we got? We've got more tankers, things to do that. And this is somewhere in the Norwegian Sea. The status report, we've got five torpedoes, we've got four anti-ship missiles. We should be able to do that without a reload. In the Norwegian Sea, so what we've got to do is to... There it is. That's the one. Close. There we go. Oh well, let's just do this. Cause no work tomorrow. Um. Right. So anyway, hello, hello, stream watchers. Do say hello in chat. Um, so, man battle stations. We are at periscope depth. Eee, that's handy, reason. Right, so we've got the... Have we got the scope up at the moment? We should be looking on... Krivak. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, John Gurr. Thank you very much for the uh, follow. Right, okay, seeing as we've got this, what we're going to do here is we're going to, 13, we're going to launch. Well, thank you. Uh, we're going to come round to 090. Uh-oh, oh no. 
that was bad news. And we're going to sink. Uh, well, quick, let's check the damage control. That's okay so far. Right, uh, thing. Conditions, right. So we're going to launch one. Here. Launch one. Here. Torpedo evasion time going deep. Right, I've lost my wires. Okay, that's really handy because the... Uh oh, bugger. I imploded. I'd lost, uh, I'd got, uh, obviously taken too much damage. My, uh, my moss did its job. Oops. Abandoned ship. That isn't all lost with all hands. Right, okay. So let's not go there, shall we? <laughs> let's uh, go to the auto save. <laughs> and um, this is what happens if you uh, if you die. You lose. That's the, the end of it. 59,000 tons. So let's go back and let's do that again. Because what we just... Uh, I must have done something wrong. I put the radar up or something. Campaign load auto save which will be at the last point on the map right so okay all hands man battle stations right so we want to raise the ESM mast alone Right, so I'm going to launch on there. Oh, I've lost the wire immediately, but okay. Launch on there and launch on there. And then now I'm going down. Right, we 
we've got a, a layer at 222 feet to so go to 240. Zero nine zero. Send you help. Depth bar coming to two hundred feet. Slow rate of descent. Top three still on the wire, just coming active. Let's have a little look. Okay. It's fine, we don't know about M1. Signature, let's designate these ships. Got one. Designate these ships. So I don't expect them to be submarines. Got it. And target at uh, right torpedo on wire three. I want that to turn away. And not get that target. So there you go. <laughs> oh, very good, SD. You play it for Cold Waters too, do you? Right, scratch one, Krivak. This is good. No, come away from there. I don't want you. I don't want you going at that thing. Right, okay. Are you going to lock onto that? Got him. Okay, fine. Right, top four. I want you to come left to focus. No, 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 no. So you stay on. Very nice. Very effective. That's my target solution on the... the sonar bearing for the uh, again, what is that then this is oh right okay fine because oh. that's all I got I haven't got any un unguided missiles or, or um uh, no, not UGMs. Uh, what are they? They're not tomahawks. They are harpoons. I'm going to harpoons. Oh right, okay. Have you uh, modded your um, thing at all? Given the escorts are out of the way, I am now going to return to periscope depth.
and get myself some better data on the um, on the chilikin. You have the Mayan model. Oh, yeah, mod you so you can play the Soviet subs as well. Oh, right, okay, fine. How do you find the Soviet subs then, SD? Whoa, what on earth has that got? So damn. Ah, right, okay, so that, that Chilikin wasn't nearly as far away as expected. Coming to coming to periscope deck, the slow rate of descent. Up ESM mast. Up scope. Look on look on eight two. There it is. We've got it. Contact re-established. Where the hell is it? Oh, it just blew up. No aircraft nearby. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they do. But you mustn't put too many torches on the water. You sort of uh, see, see that one. There's ships going down. Down scope. Right, so no vessels nearby. Leave combat. Sunk, sunk, and the Jillikin. I think that will be. It destroyed the injured Reprieve at the good work. Okay, so from here um, I'm going to save. Because actually, given my current, oh, in a new percent diesel electric system, Wolfpack headed for the North Sea. North Sea that is for their attack NATO shipping and they find destroy these. Um, headed for the North Sea, right? Okay. So, um, status report. You see, I've only got two torpedoes left. So, I'm a bit short of, um, I don't know how many. Mm -hmm. Continue on course. They're heading for the North Sea. I need to rearm. Rapidly. Actually, let's just put a save in. And that's done. So I need to rearm because I am out of out of Alright. Eighty eight thousand tons rearm. Let's load up a f f whoop Norway attack. Ooh. Rearm and repair. Um, I've got four of the those. I want a couple of those because they're always handy. And I've still got all my mosses, and then finish off my loadout with with those. Yep, that's right. Cast off and away. There they come. I had enough time. Got them. All hands man battle stations slow to one third ahead. 
Oh, Jesus. I didn't look at what my... Reload. Torps. Torps. <laughs> yes, it's the yes that they, they, they it, in fact so far in this game I've only ever I think in the campaign I've only come across a lone sub just the once. Almost seem to always come in pairs. This is quite an. This is a very interesting game, actually. I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying it, actually. So, uh, where we go? Oh, there's my first contact. Here, one signature. What is the conditions here? We've got floor at 500 feet. We layer. Duck, let's identify this. We got which probably is oh there we go. So Juliet turn left zero nine zero degrees. Prepare tube one. Tubes loaded before we go to ultra quiet. All oh, right, yeah, it's it's you don't often get lone subs. That's the point. I've, I need I need to, to turn the game on so that it provides um, um, crew crew announcements because they'd be really announceable, useful to have that on. I know. I know it's just a, a modification so I just got to find it Your solution is 39% so I should get a speed soon right okay so we're loaded and ready everything's good Right. Okay. Oh God, he's got me. Where is he? He's above. He knows where I am. Loading. Nope. Full head flank. Turn right. I'm going to lose the wire on the, on this. So, ping. Before I lose the wire, there we are. Lost it. Only I think. I, I don't know where it is. That's got to. I um, don't know whether he's on the wire, but I need to get out of here fast. Reload the tube. Okay, given that the conditions are not too far, he might well. Let's just launch a preemptive torpedo along that line. 
I'm going to make it go active. I'm going to lose the wire on that one. Okay, we got. How far away from that, from me, is that? Oh, fine, that's swimming, that's doing a search. target is down here so we'll just so reload tube for come right on to about that heading Now this one's searching. Got him. Okay, right. So that is probably not going to uh, be... Right, let's look at this as a solution. I think we'll designate that as a tango. That's interesting. Looks, looks for it. I'm going to come, come right because there's there's another torpedo. It's launched again. Ah, oh, that's a noisemaker. Come again. To Standard full. I want to get outside the range of that thing, so I want to keep turning. Make sure that thing doesn't get me. It looks very much like Tango 2 done. I would suggest that, given the current situation, when Juliet went tango, looking for a couple of diesel subs, at least two, we can. We got. To, we got to get rid of the um, weapons. Well, that's novel. Not quite sure what happened there. Oh, with that sinking, it uh, it picked up on its own uh, sunk sub, which is brilliant. So, Juliet and Tanko, that should be dealing with those boats. Yeah, that didn't take long, did it? Okay. Oh, medal time. Whoa. Command to bait him at boat face. Yes, meritorious. <clears throat> so far, so good. What are we doing? Right, good. 
Enemy plans an amphibious landing at Reykjavik and Keflavik in Iceland. Task force landing ships leaving now. You must intercept the droid before landing occurs. Maybe that's depending upon you. Right. Okay, continue on course. Clones? Oh, there they go. Close at slow speed. There we go. All right. Uh, we are. Not 150 feet. Okay, slow. Five knots. Up to periscope depth. Targets designated. Sierra one. Is that it? No. What are the conditions? Very strong duck there. So let's just sit. because we got a good uh, solution on him. Oh, come on, find it. Designate. Okay, like S1. Make sure we haven't got uh, going to designate that an alli alligator, which is what I'd expect. So have I got everything designated S one? Fucking whales. Going to go with that, right? So I need to deal with that first of all. Uh, and that, where are we with that? So, one on the surface, passive, launch, 
lost him on the surface. It's a shame. Reload. I'll leave those as it stands. I need to get the escorts out the way first before they've really picked me up, picked up on me. Pick up on that. He's he's got a solution on me, which is a bit of a bugger. Distance around one point five yards. Go down a bit further. S6, there's another one. Okay, got the year like. conditions as it were, I'm just below the duct now. Still on the wire. Need to get my uh, contacts back again. I can cut the wire. I'm going to swing back round now. And there it is. Should be good. That's good eggs. Right, I'm just going to duck beneath the duct here. Because I'm going to lose the contacts. Because, in case you're wondering why. Okay, we haven't got the helicopter at the moment. So I need to keep coming round. And I need to reload tube one. I've got to get that cannon sorted up here at the moment. Come back up to um Coming back up to uh, above the duct. So that's climb to 300 feet. And reacquire.
below the lamp because the aircraft is close by. Get into the shadow zone. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plane down now. And go deep and catch up with this lot. <clears throat> Lion planes now alone. All ahead for. Level out at 800 feet. Or thereabouts. Level the bubble. And let's all ahead flank. Let's get ourselves up towards. where they were, because they'll be steaming away at quite a bit of knots probably now. What have I got? I've got four tomahawks, which will be just enough for this. Okay, so now I can see where I am in the in relation to a uh, helicopter, he's leaving me behind. At zero, so I'm going away. He's probably gonna probably gonna have a little dip here and listen. There we are. That's where he's having a listen. I'm way over here, so he shouldn't hear me. I'll just keep an eye on where he's doing at the moment. You can see me disappearing off over here pretty rapidly. Good. Okay, fine. So I'd say he's quite away. So I'm going to uh, come back up to just above the duct and re go for reacquisition. Slow to two thirds. Level the bubble, slow one third. Mm -hmm. Right, reacquisition. Okay, what have we got? Got the cannon. That's exactly what I wanted. So come bearing two two eight. Oh, we've got another one pinging us. We're just below the layer, so let's just dip down. I want a good solution on this. Can you know, they just moved it to 21, it's moved that way. So continue the turn to. I don't know what's along that line. Alright, okay, so now we've got a decent solution on the cannon. 3.1 yards off the left side. Go high, go active at 1,000 yards, shoot, shoot one away. Do 
torpedo is active. Has acquired its target. Yes. So, go down. Start to sink. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to shoot one on that bearing. I'm going to lose the wire. I'll put it on active. I'll lose the wire. Right. Okay. So we're passing 400 feet. Plane down. Head two thirds. Let's get deep. Head standard. And let's turn left. Uh, sorry, right to course three. Level the bubble. Reload, reload. <coughs> I've got searches coming in from all over the place. Third maneuvering. Let's go quiet. What conditions? It's quite noisy, 107 decibels, which is very useful. Seven, obviously a surface ship. Um, it's on bearing three three seven. Uh, it's on bearing five six. Okay. So it's there. Right. So. Sierra 6 up there. Oops! Torpedo has just changed course. Suggesting a lock on to something. Head two thirds.
Right. We can hear in the distance. Ping. It's got something. Don't know what we get. Oh, we got one of the transports. Still something along that line there. And the tactical map. Okay, so weapon weapon four is coming active. Trying to pick something up. Okay, fine. Something's coming in off here. Caching. I can now safely disengage the wire. I can now sa safely let the torpedo do its thing. Because I want to put something down that angle. Where is it again? Down bearing two nine nine, so I want to come, come left two f uh, three one zero. Scratch cashing. I'm going to have to do some. Head to two thirds. Get get round on this. Three one zero. Steady the helm. Uh, we are at 885, go to flank. Let's get moving up that line a bit. This will be the last game that I play, uh, the last of the things of the scenario that I play. Unfortunately I have been detected in this so they know I'm around and although I've got one transport I've still got I've got an unidentified ship escort at present. And slow to flank. Uh, I'm going to slow to standard, and then I'm going to put a top broken. Okay, that's great.
put a torpedo in the water, slightly leading that uh, contact. Just see what it gets. Reload tube four. There we go. How far? Have I got any? I have got a helicopter overhead. Where is it in relation to me? Bloody miles away. Okay, fine. It's outside of detection at range. So my torpedo is there. Heading off for the tactical map. It's heading off up here. Along that, ah, oh, it's gonna miss. Okay. Okay. Right. So I am going to come, or oh, rise to periscope depth. out of the deep. Listen to your helm. Oh good, okay, right, level off. Sierra 8, designate. Oh, okay, it's gashing. Where is my torpedo in relation to that. Oh, it's got him. Yes, it's got hold of it. Oh, that was a good preemptive uh, launch, wasn't it? Noise maker in the water. There you are, considering it was there, that's where the noisemaker was heard. Or, or sorry, that was the, um, yeah, there it is. Then, so He's moving hard and bye! Kaboom! Right. So, continue my journey to the surface. It was the last of my pingers. Now I've got to get the, um, all I've got to worry about now is, uh, right, so I'm going to, right, look at the tactical map, what have we got left, we've got one, two, three, we've got a Sierra 6, which we never designated, but there we go, so reload to harpoons, uh, to long range missiles, right, okay back, check my conditions, passing 4-7, into the helm, start to level off, Slow to one third. Passing two hundred. Okay, new S three re established contact. A good distance, okay. level off. No 
some of the planes. Let's just gently float up to periscope depth. little bit higher than periscope depth, but let's deploy the ESM mast. Are we getting anything? Raise scope, up scope. In three, two, seven. Night vision. Down scope. Going down. Lower mass. Don't think we need to worry about cavitation anymore. All the head flank go down. Now I've got a chase on my hands to get up with a landing craft. Whoa, we scratch one. Still one up here, and he's probably. Uh... Hey, sir. Yeah, I know. All right then. Sorry. Well, the, I, I, yeah, I, I am, I'm interacting. It takes thirty seconds to to do so. So um, I get a little ting. You hear the little ting, and that's when I when I hear it. Thirty seconds. So I do do react. But anyway, cheerio. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got a we got a long chase here, and it probably tells me no vessels nearby back. But we will uh, we'll have a go. Let's see if we can get it. We've got 32 knots going here at flank. I'll chase to its last known position. And uh, come up and radar and see what we get. Uh, 
let's just load up Mark 84 into tube 1. They're pretty good. Nope. Um, no torps fired at me. No depth charges. This is pretty good work. If only I had an idea of the course of uh, Sierra 1. The um, thing is that uh, Sierra 1 is 36 kilo yards out, or 36,000 yards out. That's quite a way. I could launch a preemptive where am I where am I 256 feet let's come let's come up to uh, sub 200 feet slow to 20 knots and we'll shoot and see if we get something because these have got a huge range We just come up let me uh, yeah, come up to periscope depth and I would feel like let's just let's go down. Let's get under the surface. Hang on a minute, let's let's whack that missile off in that general direction. Uh, right, so so where am I? And where's a helicopter? Nowhere near me. Okay, so I'm going to put a I'm gonna come just expose the sail. Gotcha. Oh, God, I forgot. I can't do that below 20 knots. Damn. Got two. Jesus. What bloody numpty shit. destroyed a tube that's going to require me to go back to port which I'll have to do so I might as well fire off a nice harpoon at one of them Uh, 
off it goes. Whee! That's right, drop the radar mask because we. Oh, we do need to keep the radar on. I think scratch. No aircraft. Combat. Everything sunk. Detected and sunk. Yes. Destroyed tubes. Okay. So that was really good. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, that's the news. It was all down to me. Oh god, is it of Andoya in the next week? You're ordered to intercept them. Week, I've got time to go back to port. Continue on course. Where's Andoya? Oh, right, Andover. There. Oh, hang on, menu. Save. Back. back. Into port and. Away we go. So look at that. We're we doing that. 157,000 tons. Continue. Rearm and repair. So, uh, first of all, let's repair the tubes. No. Continue. Uh oh, they've landed. So that's a failed mission. This is good because uh, rearm and repair. I couldn't set uh, set to sea with um, two, three, four. To those that got the mosses, finish off, fill out my torpedo complement. Done. Okay, so it's now just gone two o'clock in the morning. So with that, I'm going to save and then quit. So um, that's it for the for this morning. I hope you enjoyed those uh, little missions. <laughs> One spectacular failure, but put it right. So uh, um, there's a mosque farm. Right, so uh, I'll say. Cheerio, thanks very much for watching and um, look forward to uh, doing some more um, cold waters for you again. So take care and good night. Bye bye.